that brings us to categories of tequila. So you got six main categories of tequilas. You got blanco, reposado, añejo, extra añejo, cristalino, and mixto. A blanco can be bottled straight from the distillation, or you can age it up to three months. After three months, that's called a reposado. A reposado can be aged between three months and 11 months. A añejo can be aged between 11 months and three years. An extra añejo can be aged between three years onwards. And a cristalino is basically a tequila that has been aged, but then it has been redistilled really and filtered to remove the color. So it's a clear spirit that has the flavors and aromas of a reposado, for example, or an añejo. And the last one is a mixto. A mixto is the least recommended tequila, so I wouldn't recommend you drinking mixto at all uh, because mixto is a tequila that they are allowed to be called tequila even though they are not using 100% uh, tequila. They can, they can cut it in half. They can use half tequila, half any other spirit, and they can still call it tequila. So uh, don't drink mixto. Now, if your bottle doesn't say 100% uh, blue agave, that means that that is a mixto. Okay, a mixto will not say mixto on the bottle, but a premium tequila will say 100% blue agave. So check your bottles, check out your drinking, be smart about it, because if not, you will, be, you will be drinking very poor quality tequila. Now, apart from the categories, you also have two predominant areas uh, to grow up the agaves. You got the highlands and you got the lowlands. The lowlands are not really lowlands, they are still quite high, they are about 2,000 meters above the level sea, so the, the sea level, so it's still high. What means is like you've got some valleys that are a bit higher than the other ones, that's all it is. And that changes the flavor of your tequila because agave is a plant that adapts very quickly to the soil that you put it in. So the, the highlands will be more, it will be a more volcanic soil and that changes the flavor of the agave. Usually uh, tequilas from lowlands will be more herbal, will be more earthy, more puncher, while tequilas from highlands will be smoother, sweeter, fruity. So that's all about categories. Now let's jump into uh, legislation, laws, and, and uh, what makes tequila tequila. <laughs> 